can rarely recall an international friendly with such great uh, expectations around it because this is the first meeting, as David was saying, of the two countries for almost 12 years. That was in the Tournoi in France, a tournament that was actually won by England. And here's uh, Gilberto Maicon, the powerful right back for Brazil. And, uh, Italy with the reassuring presence of Buffon back in their goal. Yeah, I think Howard Webb will know within the first five, ten minutes, Martin, once we see the first couple of tackles, whether he's going to have his work cut out tonight. Certainly the ground doesn't have the feel of a, a friendly or an exhibition match, or whatever you want to, to call it. A really nice edge about the ground tonight. Elana has been in and out at Manchester City. He scored his first international goals. And Brazil played here for the first time against Argentina two and a half years ago. The left back is a youngster, Marcelo from Real Madrid. More experience across the back line with the centre backs, Juan and uh, the captain here, Lucio Alana. giving most of us the eyes then but I don't think the ball went where he intended good to see Ronaldinho back in a yellow shirt though you know that he has had problems with his fitness had been out of the squad but if he can get himself back up to speed a very valuable player for them next summer when he wants to be, Adriano here's uh, Pirlo plenty of World Cup winners from Germany in the Italian ranks tonight, not all of them in the starting 11 De Rossi and uh, gifted back to Brazil by Giladino Adriano, who's one of the uh, Mourinho players here, three of them in the uh, Brazil squad, none of them in the Italian squad, the leaders of Serie A. I think you can see what Trevor Francis was saying you know, before the game, though, that he's never really lived up to his billing, Adriano. You know, from the moment he broke through in Copa America, he and Luis Fabiano, certainly Adriano looked as if he was going to be the real deal, has never quite lived up to it. Gino Tali. Supported by Grosso. It's a thoughtful ball, and the goalkeeper was committed to a, a position that he really shouldn't have taken up, but he got away with it. A really probing cross from Grosso. It was a penalty, of course, decided the World Cup final against France in Berlin. Hard oh, has given the Italians a free kick here. Well, I think we've got a game even this early. A few feisty challenges going in, and I don't think we would want it any other way tonight. Di Natale. Pillo and Grosso has uh, sneaked in, he's put the ball in the net, but he's offside. Not going to count. It was a great run and a very tidy finish. Phil Sharp says offside. Uh, Ryan right Smile from the full back is coming in from the way there he should see everyone who matters there now this is vintage Grosso wrong side of Sturty now still has the legs and he's on side for me because Juan left centre back is level as it's played and that is a delightful finish with the outside of his left foot Not had the best of times since that World Cup where he was a real star, he scored in the semi-final. But he's been playing in France with Lyon where of course they, they win plenty of games but his form has been a bit patchy. Adriano. Canavaro. Got Lucio. Oh, and Canavaro switched off, and uh, Robinho hadn't. 
and he nearly nicked a goal from one of the world's great defenders. Just wonder if he got a show there either from his goalkeeper or his, his fellow central defender. He had switched off completely. Here comes Ambrosio at the gallop. All right by Juan. Pitch in remarkable condition, considering the amount of rain that fell on it yesterday. It's a credit to the groundsman Paul Burgess, who uh, won't be the groundsman here much longer. He's been headhunted by Real Madrid. And he's off to Spain. Gilberto now plays uh, in Greece for Panathinaikos, his first time back in North London since the move. Very highly regarded here, Gilberto. Not uncharacteristic lapse in contra concentration here from Cannavaro as the ball's knocked in behind. He's waiting on Buffon coming, Robinho wouldn't give up. And eventually I think he got a call from his fellow centre-back that Robinho was on his way. And he managed to react just in time. Robinho has made plenty of headlines, one way or another, in his short time with Manchester City. Of course, Manchester City rather took him from Chelsea. And with Scolari going, and the talk has been of the, uh, the man who never was for now former Chelsea head coach always uh, plays with a, a sense of adventure whichever side of the pitch he's asked to work I think we'll see a fair bit of that tonight both sides shaping up pretty similarly and both depending heavily on full backs getting forward who was connected to English football for a while he had a post with Queen's Park Rangers but it was Lippi's team that trained at uh, QPR's ground this morning and then they polish up the, the shape of the side with very little preparation time he uh, wanted the international to be played tomorrow yeah, but uh, I don't think our football association would have uh, allowed that to happen they have the final say on every game that's played uh, in England Guladino giving uh, Juan some problems. Juan of uh, Roma, who are due here to play Arsenal in the Champions League in only a couple of weeks' time. Another fascinating aspect of this for English eyes. The uh, Italian uh, Premier League matchup in the knockout phase of the uh, Champions League. Di Natale. Pirlo Montalivo Pirlo's pass collected by Grosso who started so well fired in the cross good handling by uh, Julio Cesar just a little bit too high for Gilles Abdino but you, you can see the, the benefit of, of having Pirlo in that deep position he plays almost like a quarter but he can deliver it short and long and any time Grosso goes forward he knows he's liable to get it from the midfielder Lucio He's giving it away and here's Ronaldinho with no flag and Buffon comes out with a outfield players challenge from uh, Adriano <laughs> the pass is always a bit heavy for him anyway even a few years ago I doubt very much he'd have got on the end of that but interesting that Ronaldinho got a chance to get turned and get running. De Rossi. Trying to find uh, Pepe. Ronaldinho, Rodinho. Arrived by the debutant, Felipe Melo. Milano reversing the ball beautifully from Maicon. Rodinho going in. Comes to Ronaldinho. Flies away off Daniele De Rossi for a Brazil corner. 
Well, I've got to say, I think Mykon played a terrific ball into the front post. And he's entitled to feel one of his strikers is going to get to the front post. We're talking about the fullbacks earlier on, Martin. We saw Zambrotta do the same thing at the other end. And that's going to be a feature of this game. And we have the shot, he now takes the corner. Gilberto coming round the back. And the web has pointed Italy's way, whether for a goal kick or a free kick. Italy haven't beaten Brazil since 1982 and they uh, knocked Brazil out of the World Cup Finals in Spain. Later that evening England were knocked out as well. And Italy went on to become world champions. Paolo Rossi was the man. Patrick against Brazil, two in the semis and one in the final. So Rossi on the Italian bench tonight, who you might remember. Giuseppe Rossi from Manchester United, had a loan spell at Newcastle as well. Felipe Melo. Ronaldinho. Adriano trying to get it down to Rubinho, which he managed. Actually having to work hard without the ball at the moment. Alana. Marcelo trying to make tracks, Roberto Carlos style if you like. And he's asking for a foul. Only his fifth appearance. Well, I didn't need any encouragement to, to go to ground in the corner. Ronaldinho pulling a defender short, allowing the fullback to go long here. He's never going to get anything off Howard Webb there. But that's the way that the teams are set up tonight, very narrow in midfield to allow the fullbacks to get into space either side. That's one of those fullbacks, Mykon. So better. This is almost a 2-2-2 two, two, two for Brazil and head of their back four. He's in, Alano! Brazil lead in the 13th minute. He might not be doing too much for Manchester City, but for his country, well, he's the hero at the moment. Uh, just quickened the pace in the area of the pitch where it really matters, one touch football. Like Natali, desperately unlucky here because he got a touch in the ball. But all he did was set it up. Again, Ronaldinho gets turned, gets his head up. Lovely first-time layoff. Lagratelli very unlucky here because he got plenty of his foot on the ball here. That challenge there, but it fell beautifully. Well, he arrived here last night. I saw him come off the bus with a big smile on his face, as if he was uh, happy to be back in international football. He's done uh, well at the Emirates before for Brazil. And he's put Lippi's team behind early here on the night where Lippi's hoping to set a world record for undefeated in international competition as a coach. A level at the moment with Argentina's Basile and Clemente of Spain. But those hopes which I'm sure are secondary tonight. But uh, I've had a dent in them at the moment. Michael. Roberto, Alano. Mykon, uh, trying to uh, continue the impetus, the thrust down the Brazil right. And uh, Adriano, a 
making Buffon uh, scurry and it's been quite a sticky start this for Italy, David. I don't think the pass is meant for Buffon, Martin. I think it's meant for Allegro Tali there who turned his back on it. Here's Montalivo. Lucio across. Thought he might be facing his Bayern Munich club mate uh, Luca Toni tonight, but Toni uh, amongst the substitutes, that might happen later. Giladino at the forefront, backed up by the two from Udinese, Pepe and Di Natale. And the raiding fullbacks, Sambrotta and Grosso. Sambrotta gets it in. Very calmly done by Felipe Melo, who uh, is based in Italy with the Fiorentina. Very excited about uh, first chance to play for Brazil. In school in uh, martial arts as well as football, so he can look after himself <laughs> in that. internationals both going back to uh, last summer okay, uh, in pain but uh, just the way it landed there but the way on his ankle he's coming over the top of Mike on he's coming in off that right hand side to, to become a secondary striker trying to give Gilles Adino a little bit of company at times when they knock the ball into the central area Italy's last defeat was uh, when they were knocked out of Euro 2008 by Spain on penalties, but uh, shouldn't really have got that far. It was a disappointing tournament for the Italians, and particularly that match. They seem to be playing for penalties right from the start. It's about the end of Roberto Donadoni's time in charge of the international team and held at the recall of uh, Lippi. Lucio turning Cannavaro well, the Emirates Stadium is rocking in support of two eminent international teams He's enjoying himself tonight, and I think he's been given a position that's going to suit him. We thought he might have played left side, played from the left side in the way, but he's playing in a central role, a bit deeper than, than Adriano, but they're getting plenty of the ball to him. Pepe, for Rossi, looking for Di Natale, misjudged by Michael. But not by Julio Cesar. to Milan, another indication of the uh, willingness of that club to uh, eke extra years out of uh, seemingly ageing players, but Natale couldn't quite catch it. No, he pointed, he wanted it into space, he came short and then tried to spin in behind, he also certainly had his head up, Di Natale takes Elano short here originally, then he goes long, a heavily watered pitch did him no favours there. Adriano. Pirlo. Going shorter with his pass this time. Also, uh, the winning lieutenant on the left. Garossi. 
Coming into trouble. Oh, by Felipe Melo. Fabinho's ball. Okay. Uh, with Italia. Grosso. Free kick to uh, Italy, found by Alano. has gone out. Crosser gets the cross head. Maybe just as well Cannavaro did stay back. Mourinho breathing fire. Pirlo. Oh, the Brazilian midfield really making any attempt to stop him spraying these passes around. Ronaldinho sense the uh, need to make a challenge here. I think if anyone is going to pressurise Pirlo, it has to be Ronaldinho, but I'm not convinced he has the appetite for that job. The Brazilian coach Dunga has been under pressure. Well, as Scolari was saying when he first came to him, and, uh, Real pressure is being the coach yeah. himself. I, I just don't understand some of the, 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 the stick that Dunga's getting back home. You know, they wanted him out before they won Copa America. They did that in some style, but they're still on his case. I think he's still functional, too defensive. They've had uh, three nil nils in the last five World Cup qualifiers. And of course, in Brazil, there's what 100 million would be managers. <laughs> Everybody has an opinion. Keep it in. Gilberto. Felipe Melo. There we go, South American nation here in their second home. Still looking the uh, more threatening of the. Uh, Two countries. Preserving of the lead that Milano gave them. Ronaldinho. Oh, it would have reached Milano, but uh, Adriano chose to intervene. It's headed forward in the end by Ronaldinho. Rubinho has made a run in behind. Pirlo coming back to show that he can uh, win the ball as well as spread around. And Lucio has to scurry across and doesn't really tidy up as he should have done. Some insurance there from Felipe Melo against uh, Pepe's forward momentum. Butter. Still going. And now turning back. And although we have seen him plenty of times, baby, at left back, he didn't want to hit it with his yeah, left foot. Yeah, exactly. Did he? Didn't fancy it at all on his left foot, did he? Coming in off the other side, he certainly would have put his foot through it. Di Natale. Anthony, a graduate from the uh, under 21s, he went to the Olympics. Beijing. De Rossi. Couldn't collect the return from Giladino. Adriano, good movement for him to stay on side. Take on the Cannavaro. Maicon's in the middle. The right back. <laughs> shot at the end of it, he did score in uh, Brazil's last game, a 
6-2 home win over Portugal, that was very friendly and Portugal travelled a long way to play it. And maybe we have to think uh, sympathetically about that. So, De Rossi, Sandrotta on the burst again, now Pepe, hopefully have a corner. Well, they squeezed the front post immediately Italy got Pepe on the outside with a bit of time, squeezed the front post well, Italy have really struggled to get Pepe into the game, Sandrotta gives him a good ball here, trying to get his head up, a good cover of that front post from Brazil. out to Grosso, who's already had a goal disallowed. Plenty of Italians in the middle. And it was Cannavaro, who didn't quite connect with the acrobatics. He's out of position. As Brazil break with Lucio Ronaldinho. Adriano screaming for the left side there. One back by Rubinho from Pirlo. Still Rubinho! Oh! Wonderful! <laughs> 2 0 Brazil. Buffon put in trouble when Pirlo was caught in possession, but there was still a lot to do. A huge amount to do. And didn't he do it brilliantly? Rubinho. He does Pirlo first of all, dispossesses Pirlo. But even then, look at the players Italy have goal side here, how much work he has to do. I don't know how many step overs, little swivel, and the only place he can score here is inside Buffon's left hand post. And he finds that little strip that he has to when it really matters. Terrific feat to make the space, and a wonderful finish. Zambrotta and Pirlo left just staring at each other. Very little either could do against this kind of footwork. Well, in England, two English-based players have really put Brazil on the front foot here. The Manchester City pairing of Rubinho and Elana, the scorers. And more problems for Italy. And Grosso needing attention. He was, uh, giving it the full limp but he seems now that he wants to get back on again Canavaro and it's Pirlo with problems again which means Italy have got problems Adriano bulldozing away through it's on his good left foot They look rattled Italy, don't they? Cannavaro just looking at the, the lads at either side of him, just saying, calm down here. They get Grosso back on, thankfully. But they are rattled at the moment, Italy. Grosso. Felipe Melo. We said at the start, David, Brazil don't do friendlies. The will to win is at full tilt here. Such history between these two countries and uh, 53 here because it's Adriano. Free kick, might still be three, they'll be queuing up to take this, the Brazilians. Well, once again, Italy caught with a bread and butter ball over the top there for Rubinho. Adriano certainly blocked off by Cannavaro, and take your pick now. Some rank here. 
34 goals in uh, his previous 86 internationals. Gives him a certain amount of status in the set pieces. Here he goes. Flashing too high. And a little bit further out, it would have dipped under the crossbar. You see, the wall didn't really jump with much conviction there. Italy's World Cup group, Republic of Ireland against Georgia tomorrow, 7 p.m. Sky Sports 1. I obtain half an hour here at the Emirates, particularly from Brazil. Well, no real surprise there that Brazil have been so much busier in front of goal. They really have dominated this. Italy denied the attempt that they obviously thought was legitimate. They I think it was Martin, I think he lost his own side. Certainly a marginal call for the, the far side assistant, but I, know, I think he got one. Okay, Rossi! He was certainly dipping in. Julio Cesar reaching up and turning it aside. Oh, it's not one the goalkeeper can take into his gloves, it's moving all over the place. That's about as much as he can do, get it safe, get it wide. Plenty of time to get his foot through the ball there. Cannavaro going in, and uh, he didn't get the touch, I don't think. Might well have been Giladino. Fiorentina forward. He scored a last-minute winner in Serie A against Lazio. Grosso struggling with the ball played in behind, not coming to shaking off that injury. Centre back did well to get out wide as quickly as he did. All back for Italy. And pretty much all up for Brazil. Same corner. Here's Michael. And Buffon down and ready when it arrived. Made it look easy. It's an awkward one. Kicked up just in front of him. A nice cushion here from Buffon. I think you see this takes a little bit of a move as well here. A little bit left to right. We were talking earlier, David, about the uh, functional football of uh, Dunga. I don't think they can be accused of that tonight. Brazil uh, stopped by the offside flag this time. There's a uh, free wheeling and free scoring. Danavaro Deepest there knew exactly where Adriano was. And he made it by a yard here, the skipper. He's going to match the run, just decides to step up, and he just gets there. Looking 
Great stereotypes, you think of Italy as the, uh, the masters of defensive football, but certainly they're not defending uh, with any authority here. Zambrotta appeared to take plenty of the ball as Roberto may have had to go through Zambrotta to get there nice angle here for, for Italy though, to put something into the back post two centre backs have gone up So, it was cleverly constructed. Well, it's Juan who manages to get out the left centre back who spots this very late, but I think Grosso has one eye on the centre back as he's striking that on the half volley. Never going to be easy. But certainly with Juan coming out to meet the ball, even more difficult. Di Natale it might have been very wide, but Juan was taking no chances. And, uh, two balls on the pitch that might help Italy. Well, he's not going to get two touches here, Di Natale. That's why he put his foot through this. And again, it's on the half volley. Again, it's awkward, but he struck it well. May have been moving wide of the, the far post, but a good strike nevertheless. Pepe going in. And, uh, cold kick is Howard Webb's ruling. Well, Lucio's looking for a free kick, he reckons he, he's, he's pushed here at the near post. Well, not a great deal in it for me. Pepe's certainly leading with his left arm, but not a great deal in it. Simone Pepe's fourth cap tonight, all coming in uh, the last four internationals, including tonight. Sandrotta, the is there to back him up, but it's a poor ball to the midfield man. Ronaldinho, uh, <laughs> and that. Never too early for showboating if you're a Brazilian. No wonder they play play here to sell out crowds and they command a great uh, fees. Michael. There you go, Italy have started at last uh, goal attempts in the last five minutes or so. Maybe not before time or Tello Lippi, Mayfield. Yeah, one from De Rossi, needed saving. And it's third, Brazil into life again, no one closing down, Alano! Oh, well, we're right behind that, took a big move left to right. Unfortunately, it's always on the up, but Buffon's never getting there if that finishes inside the post. Terrific effort. Just cuts across the ball. Oh, moves, moves two or three times. We'll see it from here. Terrific effort. De Rossi. Pelo. Sven Joran Eriksson played him for a couple of games at right back for Manchester City last season. It's not a position he would uh, associate himself uh, with, with uh, the way he plays in the other half of the pitch. Right. 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 He's getting his body in there. 
so that he would be fouled. We talk about his uh, indifferent spells, but to be fair to him, he's had quite serious uh, personal difficulties, talked about yeah. depression, and uh, no one can underestimate how that can uh, sap anybody, let alone uh, an athlete. He's uh, dealing with his demons. Gilberto Juan five minutes left in a hugely entertaining first half unless you're supporting Italy I guess and I'm sure plenty of you watching are Lucia. Tempotta playing with some purpose there to defend and trying to turn defending into counter-attacking. An imaginative ball. It's the other right back, Mikon, who cuts it out. Robinho. Let's have a spell on the right side, Robinho, just now. Both he and Ronaldinho for me have been the, the key players for Brazil. Either side of Adriano, just a little bit deeper, but they've managed to, to get that pair in between Italy's two holding midfield players on the back line. There was some uh, political complaining in Italy about this fixture. Some ministers uh, wanted it cancelled over the Brazilian government's refusal to extradite a notorious Italian criminal who has taken refuge in South America. A few Italians wanting it being called off now. It's happily uh, for all lovers of the beautiful game. It's gone ahead. Beating a particular mandate and uh, some pretty uh, nasty London weather. And a very tight timetable. Italy only landed at Luton Airport about half past five yesterday. Maybe that's not uh, how they're approaching this first half. Rosso, Di Natale, and De Rossi backing it up. He was there to be hit, and hit it he did, but he couldn't find a way through. A good reaction from Lucio twice. I'm putting up pressure on Gila Dino to make sure he wasn't getting a free header. If we trying to get one back before half time. Failure to uh, beat the front man from the corner, front man being uh, Adriano. Grosso. Zambrotta. Nick Rotaglia, who's another who's uh, rather reinvented himself, a born again Christian, and been a rather a notorious playboy earlier in his football career. Marcella. of uh, Milano who sparkled in this first half De Rossi looking ahead of Zambrotta there he is maybe a corner out of this it's just the throw Going in the wrong direction. 
And they certainly came to entertain. I mean, this does Italy no damage in terms of the of the game, but in terms of the people who paid into to come along here tonight and watch, this is what it's all about. The football saying it's just like watching Brazil. It doesn't come from nowhere, does it? Well, I tell you what, this is them being over-functional. I don't know where it leaves the rest of us. <laughs> Two added minutes. Marcelo. Mourinho. And Milano. Not quite connecting cleanly that time. When he was asked yesterday about whether Scolari's availability was going to make his life more difficult, would he be looking over his shoulder? A shadow might be there. No, he said. <laughs> he was always a very confident player, wasn't he? Of course, captain Brazil to win the World Cup against Italy in 1994. Played some of his club football in Italy. The uh, distinguished with Fiorentina. Best day for Buffon to come back into Italy's goal, taking his uh, tally to 90 caps. And behind uh, Del Piero, his international career may be finished now, although we've written him off before. Really pressing here, Brazil. As high up the pitch as they can. Oh, beautiful from Brazil. With the Manchester City men very much in the mix. Milano opening the scoring. And Robinho. Perotta, English born, you might recall, born in Ashton under line, where Jeff Hurst was uh, born. He's uh, on in midfield. Luca Toni plays uh, up front in place of Giladino and as you mentioned Giuseppe Rossi once at Manchester United and Newcastle is in great form with his Spanish club Villarreal five goals in his last four games Brazil unchanged See uh, Davy out here on the right in place of Pepe. Giuseppe Rossi is left sided for Di Natale. I think Giuseppe Rossi is going to play a little bit closer to Luca Toni than either Di Natale or Pepe did first off. Camaronese is quite close to Toni here. Here comes Zambrotta to hit it. And the ricochet goes Alano's way. So 2 0 to Brazil. Two nations do meet again in June in the Confederations Cup in Pretoria in South Africa. Might be worth getting your tickets now. Marcelo. Now by Gilberto. Here's Grosso. And a lot of trust put in Luca Toni by uh, Lippi and also by Donadoni in his time uh, in between the two Lippi spells. And he was a striker without support in Euro 2008. Rovinha. Marcelo. A bit of 
possession it falls Perotta's way because of his efforts Perotta now Rossi well, he's hit the net but on the outside with that good left foot uh, look at Tony's looking for a square at the back post but I think once Rossi gets turned here even from this angle and it's a small target I think he has to take it on even in the hope he gets a spill here from from Julio Cesar a little bit of joy last year for Italy and a pretty lean night for the strikers so far Adriano's uh, header De Rossi have got through a lot of work in a difficult first half for Italy Nastia Grosso Rossi again, Grosso again Douglas Michael has been at pains to point out that he wasn't named after Michael Douglas, the actor. You might read in the gossip columns. Surprises De Rossi. <laughs> well, he's attacking. And we're just uh, giving Ronaldinho the message. Okay, enough showboating. One going in. And Ronaldinho's free kick, which was uh, just too close in the end to Buffon. Trying to take on Brazil at their own game with a, a flick or two of his own. Born in Argentina. And gives it away. When you uh, grow up in Argentina, you're taught straight away not to give the ball to Brazilians, but uh, he did it then. Marcelo. The outside of the foot, arrowing it across to Mykon. It's a fine ball too, and Zambrotta was put into real difficulty by it. Couldn't ask for a better cross. He just gets half a yard here on Fabio Grosso, and he could not have slid that into a better area than he did. No take a front post. to take the corner French bowls go off again anticipation maybe of number three for Brazil Lupe and Melo thought he was being fouled not given by Howard Webb who had a good view at it Rossi's attempt to break out thwarted by Marcelo coming down the right hand side and Brota did really well to tuck in there otherwise Ronaldinho's getting a shot away 
Rossi. Nice uh, manoeuvre through Felipe Melo in. Uh, competitive game, that's a yellow, I think, Martin. Seneca won you. Rossi was on his way into good space. A short, a free kick. I've got another one a bit closer to goal. So Pirlo, my eye up. And he has burned the opportunity to Italy with the first free kick to try and uh, use Luca Tony's extra aerial presence. One of the second half substitutes. Even from this range. There's only about two in the world, Julius. Is that obviously intended seeing this ball been struck? It's set for Pirlo, who tried to come up with something of a lower trajectory than maybe uh, he's over expecting. I don't know how he's trying to move that. I can't quite see the, the shape of his foot. Almost Cristiano Ronaldo like. Almost hit it straight on. The two-man wall didn't do very well. <laughs> Adriano. And for Calier. Bringing it onto Buffon's weaker foot. Felipe Melo. Sambrotta. Two uh, really cavalier right backs here. But, uh, Mike getting better ball than uh, Sambrotta. Marcelo. See ya. <laughs> and moves like that are almost as good as a goal, particularly when you're 2-0 up. Yeah, Andrea Pirlo just looked bewildered, didn't he? Just wondered where they'd gone. Pirlo has uh, produced a pass here. It's got Juan uh, coming across and not getting there. Again, Sambrotta's good movement. And well reached by Marcelo. Fabinho <laughs> finds uh, his own way to play as a left-sided defender. Okay, the Brazilian players realising that the job after a, a fabulous first half is not completed here. Italy, uh, uh, their own pride wounded, and Rossi it must have started outside the area and certainly ended inside. Determined to get his body across the front, wasn't he? Contact appeared to be just outside. Did really well. Great determination to stay up when he could have gone down. Contact about a yard outside, maybe, maybe less. Certainly outside though. says that we need to to be able to block the ball which didn't happen from uh, Pirlo's effort a couple of minutes ago Pirlo is here the left footer is the dangerous Grosso and all in front of the goalkeeper and, uh, again good defending by Adriano at the front post Julio Cesar coming out and uh, as uh, Cannavaro arrived, the goalkeeper made it his. That was always favourite balls in there, long enough for him to come and take comfortably. Marcelo. Robinho. Right to Ronaldinho. He reacted quicker than uh, the two of the Italians. Milano towards Adriano and Bertagli gets it away. Good 
Three for Mello. And the uh, use of the ball by Lano again, but not accurate use of the ball. And it's uh, Cameron Ezek. He's doing everything possible to get himself into the game. Just wrong side, then never in a position to make a clean challenge there, but a little bit more urgency from Italy. They've obviously been told at half time they've got to show a little bit more. Brazil uh, are still waiting to take the free kick. As, uh, De Rossi comes off, and Alberto Aquilani. It's ready to uh, come on. Another who uh, will be hoping to return here in a fortnight's time with uh, Roma to play Arsenal in the Champions League knockout phase first leg. <laughs> Marcelo. Why Dunga was uh, getting some stick. Uh, the problem is Brazil aren't winning their World Cup qualifying uh, section. So we're second to Paraguay at the moment. Straight by Juan. Rossi. That's a uh, go for goal. So much his game. Not by Alano, but not uh, a control clearance. And Natalia is in. It'll be uh, interesting to see how uh, Brazil would react if Italy can get the next goal. Menezes is running into trouble. Ronaldinho is showing that he can tackle as well. Supported by Rubinho. He was running out of options there. Probably what he's looking for, not a free kick, surely. Pirlo. Brazil. This next game is their way to Ecuador, and then they're at home to Peru as they get back to World Cup qualifying. Late to March, early April. Regular 4 4 2 until they have now. Perotta's come to play on the right hand side of Perlo now. Aquilani left, Cameron easy right, and Rossi just off Luca Tony. Problem at the moment is they can't really get any of the ball. who was a World Cup winner under Scolari incidentally the bookies have uh, we understand uh, found it to play out on who's hitting the Scolari's successor Chelsea Pity, just a little bit heavy Zambrotta oh sorry, I thought you were saying pity about hitting it was pity about the pass <laughs> <laughs> I was going to take issue with you there someone uh, been privileged to know pretty well over the last 20 years <laughs> <laughs> Cameron is it. And here's Rossi. And now Tony waiting for Aquilani, but they couldn't quite coordinate. It was far too close to take a pass from that range. Good play by Rossi without it even getting the head up, played it into a good area. Can 
holding a get there, he does, and then maybe he shouldn't have done. And he gives away the free kick as he still goes uh, pursuing possession and playing like a man who's just got something to show to Carlos Dunga. But he still should be uh, recognised and reckoned with as a starter for his country. Wrong side, it on the outside, Grosso. He could have gone and taken an early shower, Fabio Grosso, when he took that knock. Still had, had the appetite to, to carry on. Good to see. Still 2 0 as it was at half time. First half goals from the men from Manchester City. Milano and Rubinho for Brazil. Gianfranco Zola, who uh, of course was mentioned in the relation to the uh, vacant Chelsea position, but learning in management with great help from Steve Clark. And even the good and the great struggling to get the best seats. He'll be uh, concerned about Italy. That's my con. That's um, yet another cross. Once again, he's, he's hitting the byline. Natural successor to Cafu, I suppose. Pirlo. That's an intriguing ball. And Tony, did he take it down with his hand? Well, the goal is it given. Howard Webb is pointing, but he's pointing for a free kick. I'm not convinced that Howard Webb is in a better position than his near side assistant who I don't think gave anything he certainly appeared to cradle it in his left arm here Tony made a nice diagonal he appeared to bring it down with his left arm as it's dropped in yeah that's handball in anybody's language I just wonder about Howard Webb's position here how much did he see of it he appeared to be blocked off by Lucio by the way it's a quick decision Italy have uh, twice got the ball in Brazil's net, twice uh, disallowed. I think the uh, first decision harder on Italy than the second. You don't get much from Lippi's expression, whatever. <laughs> Even if it had gone to 2 1, I think he'd been looking pretty much the same. Remarkable thing for Newman is he's never managed outside Italy. No short of offers have been through the years. Pirlo, Cameron Ezek, Tony wants it early, gets it early. Look at Tony trying to turn again, Marcelo was worried enough to smash it behind for the corner. I'm just surprised that Lucio doesn't step up as this ball's played through here. And Lucio can see Tony, he decides he's going to match the run. Tony spun him really well and needed a bit of help. Short corner to Pirlo. Rossi, Cannavaro's in the thick of it. Up in the air from Milano, hardly clearing the penalty area. In went to Lucio. And Ronaldinho was one on one. And uh, Perotta, who'd stayed back. Awkward for Lucio. This is uh, Bayern club mate Luca Toni. Lucio's there again, whistle's gone. Italian's not happy. He does give him a better target than Gila Pinodo. Much stronger. Better in the air. I'm sure there are some neutrals here, apart from us, David. It doesn't really sound like it, does it? That's been terrific. Surprised when I turned up to the gantry to hear the noise in the ground. Mm -hmm. Quarter of the game to go. Italy uh, trying 
to uh, flex their muscles, having uh, made five uh, substitutions. Plenty of uh, reason to do that with the Sunday fixture list predominant for the Italian squad. Rosso. Italy in a hurry from the throw, and Fabio Grosso's have got a good position for a cross. And asking for handball as it was charged down, how the web spreads his arms to say nothing doing. And down goes uh, Ronaldinho, there's something doing here. And he's got to go for the card this time, Hardwood. Simone Perotta. I think he's good Grosso as well for descent on the far side. That's certainly a yellow card. Perotta, who uh, sadly, despite all our attempts to speak to him in English, has lost all the language from his first six years of his life, which was spent in the Manchester area. It's going to be uh, the first change for Brazil imminent. And here goes Marcelo. Sangrotta gets back. Been no drop in the levels of determination as that incident on the far side showed. Rob Styles, the fourth official, as uh, Daniel Alves comes on for Elano, who uh, got Brazil going here. Well, certainly left his mark in the game. One touch layoff here and a one touch finish. Enough to put Brazil ahead. They haven't really looked back since then. Now of Barcelona, almost on the point of joining Liverpool a couple of years ago. He is uh, primarily a, a right back, another attacking right back, but he's going to play in front of Mike on, it seems, uh, in the sort of area that Alano's been filling, this sort of area. Plenty of company with Mike on. Robinho. And screws the ball out here to Marcelo via Camarnese. Reached its target. Hefty cross. Could be coming back. Daniel Alves. On the same uh, wavelength as Rubinho. Some of the touch football is delightful. I'm not convinced that Italy. I'm getting more and more frustrated. They are world champions. Got a little bit fed up with the showboating, I think. of uh, your spot on the far side, Davey, yeah. second yellow card, a descent for Grosso. It's had a bit to be descentful about tonight. Nicolani uh, letting it rub, Michael, Gilberto, going further forward and uh, too far forward, he knew he'd be uh, given offside. He's had a good night, Joe Burton. Hasn't really been eye-catching his contribution, but very economical, no wastage as usual. Maybe a few uh, asked 
the fans in the stadium are thinking we could have done with Gilberto this season. But one of the uh, men that was allowed to move on wanted a, a longer contract, and Arsene Wenger was prepared to offer him. And so the story goes. Ronaldinho coming in behind Cameron Eze. And got back at him, grabbed at him. I'm surprised that Hogwarts doesn't flash another yellow there. Cameron is never in a position where he could win the ball. He's trying to choke Ronaldinho. Gilberto. So, uh, I'm sure he's doing the right thing this time, even though he uh, is on the wrong end of a free kick. Rubinho. One. And, uh, went offside against Adriano. He reckoned not, but certainly Canavano's hand was up immediately appealing. Howard Webb got in the way. <laughs> He's been trying to avoid those sort of situation after that uh, incident at Birmingham in the FA Cup. Marcelo. Mourinho got a touch, Canavaro. Trying to uh, clear the area with the header. Polani turning into trouble in the shape of Daniel Alves who's uh, come on here brimming with uh, talent we know he's got that but also uh, a desire to uh, make a mark on a short space of time even uh, shorter for Liverpool's Andrea Dosena 15 minutes or so in place of Pirlo hasn't played that much football this season with a persistent thigh problem who was uh, culpable in the nature of the uh, second goal Grosso <laughs> apologising to Phil Sharp for causing him a bit of uh, consternation a few minutes ago it's still feisty it's Rossi but the sort of he for a hard web off the ball. I think he was aware of it. And it's Grosso again. I don't think we want it any other way, Martin. You know, I, I think we wanted a, a bit of an edge on this, and I think we've had it from the start. The manager with a profile in Italy, uh, Sven Joran Eriksson, we hear, has uh, been uh, approached now by Portsmouth rumours about that through the day to succeed Tony Adams. <laughs> that was uh, pretty crude from uh, Zambrotta, crude enough to uh, get Howard Webb to reach into his pocket and give the yellow card. I don't think Howard Webb had a choice there, he's just got to make sure it doesn't boil over too much. Robinho. Robinho. Three in the middle for Brazil. Not towards Adriano, but not to near enough to him. 
by Daniel Alves. Cool ball then. Terrific support they had as well. And tonight's attendance, 60,077, 6, 0, 0, 4, 7, 7. Well, This is an interesting change. Uh, Juan going off and being replaced by Thiago Silva, who uh, is a Milan player, but not allowed to play for them this season because of the regulations over non-EC players. Zambotta. Here's uh, Cameron Ezek. Just work from Daniel Alves, he got a bit of a push from Tony back. Now Rubinho holding it up. Uh, it's uh, classy from Brazil, but it's been done under severe Italian pressure. They're not going to go down lightly here. Well, the crowd appreciated the, the one touch stuff, but Adriano certainly didn't. He's making runs continually ahead of the ball. Nothing coming his way. Marcelo. Been making those runs, not got much left in his uh, lungs for a moment. And apologies from the young Real Madrid right back, Marcelo. Osana, has been in uh, Benitez's plans. Dosena who gives away the free kick is Liverpool credentials rather hampered by the fact that he was uh, I think the only player who started both defeats at Tottenham not far away from here of course one in the Premier League and one in the Carling Cup he did play at Portsmouth so Benitez uh, changed his formation defensively so just over 10 minutes to go well, according to uh, international regulations Italy have used their full complement of uh, six substitutes Brazil have got uh, plenty in hand and uh, Adriano comes off to be replaced by yet another Italian-based Brazilian and one that uh, is getting a tremendous reception here, 19-year-old Pato, who uh, got a debut goal here at the Emirates to beat Sweden. Brazil have beaten Sweden and Argentina here at Arsenal's uh, splendid new home. They have lost to Portugal in uh, an international year since uh, and including 2006. Another packed house. Oh, I thought that was Steve Clark when we saw the earlier shot. Last a bit by Gianfranco Zola, Gary Staker there, who uh, works for Chelsea, of course. And Steve Clark and uh, Gianfranco Zola both used to. <laughs> quick throw by Zambrotta, quick thinking by Rossi. Oh, and quick reactions by Giulio Silva to stop Luca Toni pulling it back to 2-1 that's a terrific save Rossi does brilliantly here from the byline looked as if it was going to go out of play here somehow he gets it across goal Toni's got half a yard on Lucio and it's all down to the goalkeeper's reactions here did so well to get his gloves behind that
Marcelo. Italia mowing down Ronaldinho. It's a good night with Ronaldinho. I think that position suits him. More central. When he starts wide, he's got to do a little bit of tracking if full backs go past him. He's maybe at a stage now where he wants to play in there. He doesn't really have to, to worry about tracking back. The line is experiencing severe delays and Arsenal station is closed at the moment. Well, Daniel Alves has come on with a real purpose tonight. Has marked out a run here with a real purpose. <laughs> purpose not quite matched by the accuracy. Yeah, 60,077 is a record international attendance here at the uh, Emirates. Probably haven't been too many played in this stadium, but I think there'll be plenty more to come. It's a, a great setting, and it has been a, a real international contest, this. It's certainly been uh, none of that uh, second half laxity with a succession of substitutions we've had the substitutions but the intensity of the game has remained it's whetted your appetite for international football how about the republic of ireland against georgia world cup qualifier in italy's group remember tomorrow at 7 p.m sky sports one thoroughly recommended Lucia. Novinho, Ronaldinho. Any Brazilian who does a bit of uh, showboating here might be on the end, wrong end of a clump <laughs> or a trip of a cynical nature. Right, that one for Perotto, who has been booked. The thing that hadn't been lost on Felipe Melo. Well, the finish of the game, the way they started it, but they, they took a very early grip of the game, Brazil. Once again, they're back in control. well away from this one Buffon wondering what to expect some work here Brazilians trying to get across the line of the ball any little touch and it would have been 3-0 it's a big free kick from Rolandino almost impossible to defend that when it comes in there Yeah, you're a centre back, you, you try and defend us. Horrible for the goalkeeper as well. Well, just over five minutes to go. Counting added time. The time added on for substitutions. And uh, there's another one coming. Josue plays in uh, Germany with uh, Wolfsburg. He's their captain, holding midfield player. Oh, he's got to take the shot on here, you would think. Even Grudge Grosso, a late reward to you. Probably the pick of the bunch in blue. Perotta just giving him an option down the side. He's only reacting to that now. Surely Grosso will go for goal. He's got a shorter pace there, Grosso. Certainly got plenty of movement on the ball. It's a nice height here for Julius Cesar. He must move it 
three, four feet there, Grosso. Tony! Didn't really get it, did he? I'm surprised they came all the way to him. Here's Pato. And uh, Sambrotta was a bit unsure. And uh, when he did make his challenge, it was a fair one. Grosso's ball, still from the right-hand side where he had to stay on the earlier free kick. Tony uh, in a bit of a tangle there. With Lucio. Well, Luca Tony has certainly added a bit more thrust in the second half. Goal disallowed, rightly so. Julio Batista, another who knows his way around the Emirates. Former Arsenal man, or a current Premier League player. And Robinho, it's probably the abiding memory of an admirable night. Well, there aren't too many in the world who could have scored from that position with as many defenders go silent. He's left his mark in the game. Gilberto has gone off for Josue. Never quite did it for Arsenal Julio Batista, although there was that extraordinary night at Anfield in the League Cup. And he went up there and scored four times and missed the penalty. Felipe Melo going to go the full distance on his debut to just wait for company in the uh, closing minutes here Zambrotta Brazil showing uh, no desire to uh, make sure there's no uh, Late scares here. Tony, good support run. Aquilani, not quite hard enough back to Luca Tony. Both so players knew it. So a bit late. Similar to Brazilian centre backs that have really been in the game since Tony's come on. He really has moved them around. It's another Cameronese corner in the added time. Julio Batista gets a foot to it. It's going to be a final uh, flourish here from Brazil on the break. With the uh, former Arsenal forward, who is uh, doing well in Serie A. With uh, Roma, and he'll be back here to try and knock his former club out of the Champions League. Daniel Alves, it's only just too high. For Julio Batista, the beast, as he uh, is known as, square-shouldered. You certainly know when he's on the field. Off the field, he's uh, delightfully charming fella. Daniel Alves. I think if he'd not taken that free kick, he might have had the shot then. Good nice walk for Brazil. Just wonder if it will buy Dunga any goodwill back home. Nice scalp to take, world champions. Challenge match or not. Yes, and uh, 24 hours after the last World Cup winning coach for Brazil became available on the job market, Carlos Dunga's team have uh, done the incumbent proud here at the Emirates. Oh, Pato really nicked it back. Was he trying there, Mark? I think he was Tell looking me. for Julio <laughs> Batista because, but he would have claimed that he meant it if it had dropped in. You never know where this fella do. 
can read too much into their missed kicks, I think, sometimes. Cameron Ezek. Job almost done for Brazil. Reflecting on Italy, their first defeat. And uh, a man of the match performance from uh, Rubinho. An astonishing second goal to add to his club mate Alano's first. And uh, Marcello Lippi has uh, not broken the world record for a coach. Finishes on 31 unbeaten. They've lost and they've uh, been well beaten in the end. It might have been closer. Julio Cesar made a, a splendid save from Luca Toni. And Italy did have two goals disallowed. The first really should have stood. But it has been uh, an enthralling watch here. A proper game between two proper footballing countries. Brazil, who go out to win every game, have won here against Italy. The 2002 world champions have beaten the 2006 world champions by two goals to nil. Indeed, Italy's first defeat under Marcello Lippi since October 2004. It's finished here, Manchester City 2, the world champions nil. Rubinho and Ilana, the goal scorers. Rubinho picking up a watch from the sponsors as well. And the man of the match prize, he'll be not late for training, Mark Hughes will hope. Contrasting styles we've seen here though at the Emirates tonight in this fascinating, friendly match. They came here meaning business, Italy. They had a world record to go for. In the end, they fell short. Sam McKings came out on top. Let's hear from Gilberto with Guy Havard. Gilberto, many congratulations. How good a performance was that by Brazil and what does it mean to win this game? It was a, it was a very good performance you know, of the team. Uh, it's very important to start uh, a new year with a great victory against a good team. And uh, it means a lot for us, you know, give us confidence to continue our job because uh, in a few few more, I think a few weeks time we have a qualification game you know this is a good start for us it was Manchester City 2 Italy nil tonight with Alano and Rubinho's goals what did you make of Rubinho's goal that was great you know the the combination of, of the passing on the first uh, goal of the Alano and then Rubinho you know uh, he, he took the ball of the, the defender and uh, by himself he construct uh, his goal you know was uh, was great, you know. His uh, his quality is fantastic, uh, and and uh, this what we always expect of him, you know. His quality uh, to decide uh, the game in any circumstance of the game. And, and how special was it for you to come back here to the Emirates and play?